one of the top teams in the country. Uh, to get a win here is uh, real proud of our players. Our defense, we gave up some yards, but uh, in the fourth quarter, uh, they came up with two turnovers, had three stops, I believe, at the very end. Um, proud of our offense. Uh, they have a great defense. Uh, our offense, we've made some plays in the passing game. Uh, at times, we were able to run the, run the ball consistently uh, against one of the better defenses in the country. So uh, the negative probably is the penalties, uh, pretty uncharacteristic of us. we got to do better in the future. We will correct that, and we'll, we'll address that. Uh, but our guys overcame it. Uh, they found a way to win. Close game at the end. Questions? What about the way Nick came back after that interception? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I thought that was big. You were down there in the red zone. That was uh, was a big one. Uh, but he came back. Uh, you know, he doesn't get too hard, too low. I mean, he's a he's a champ. He's a great competitor, and uh, he made plays in the passing game deep down the field uh, tonight. Uh, really ran the read zone extremely well. Uh, they were doing some challenging things on the edge, bringing two guys off, and they were trapping the bubble of the field. Uh, they did some, some very good things on defense, and I thought he, he managed everything pretty well. Yes, you had a couple of games go down to the wire, obviously, last season. Where does this one rank where you have a play like that at the goal line, a fumble to the side, with everything at stake in this in the SEC and national? Yeah, it's a big play. Uh, you know, our guys find ways last year to win. Uh, it's close. Our, our guys truly believe that they're going to win the game if it's close. And uh, they made plays. Uh, they made the plays down there to win the game defensively. And like I said, offensively made, you know, uh, you know, talk about balance, run game, passing game, just all the time. You guys talk about third downs in the second half compared to the first yeah, half. I thought that was a real big key. You know, at halftime we came in here and you do your normal adjustments, but, but most of our conversation was on third down. Uh, they're one of the better third down uh, defenses uh, in the country. Uh, I mean, they drop a lot of guys back. They're very good in their zones and their windows are, are very small. And uh, we just felt like we try to go over the top and let let you know some of our guys make plays, and, and we were able to do that a few times. I know you don't know how a playoff would feel, but did it feel like a playoff? It, it felt like a big game. I mean, it felt like a big game uh, playing one of the better teams in the country. And, and I'm going to tell you right now, they're still one of the better teams. You know, and so. People were talking about elimination game and all that. I mean, you know, bottom line, number three was playing number four. And, uh, you know, so they're, they're, they're still a very good team, and they got a they got a great coach. I guess you may have already addressed it, but the play Chris Ross made at the end of the game. Yeah. And it just, what does that say about him? He's, he obviously didn't give up on that. Yeah, our guys keep battling, you know, and he's a winner. You know, he started for us last year. He played the big games, and that was just a big-time play. I mean, there's no doubt. Were you already kind of looking ahead to the next drive after you got the end zone? You know, I, I knew it was a bumble, and I thought we got it. And so then the coaches upstairs said, so yeah. And so we were pretty confident that uh, we were going to get the football. Let's <coughs> talk about Sammy uh, coming back yeah. and those two Yeah, I think Sammy's close to 100% now. And uh, he made some, some big time plays down the field. And uh, it's really good to get him back in the flow. I think that'll really help us moving forward. Just in the first half, when there's like penalty on every other play, yeah. how difficult is that to establish any kind of rhythm? Yeah. Well, I think you're exactly right. I mean, we had penalties, we had a couple of negative plays. You know, I called the reverse. That was a bad call on that one. They brought pressure and kind of put us in a bind. But uh, there's a lot of penalties. I think mean, that's the most penalties we've had since I've been here at Auburn, and, uh, or at least penalty yards. And, uh, you know, it's hard to win uh, against a top team when you have that many penalties. But it's a tribute to our players. They overcame it and, uh, and won. I guess was the uh, pace in the third and fourth quarter yeah. about the best you yeah, guys I think, had I mean, one of the, I mean, you know, to run the football in that defense uh, in the third quarter like we did, I, I was very impressed with, with our guys up front and, and our running backs and uh, and also you know, our quarterback. Because obviously you were trying to go outside a lot more. You know, like I said, they were kind of stopping it. Was yes. there a decision there in the third quarter to just run up the gut with the guy? Yeah, you know, you get a feel for the game. I mean, you are very good. And you get a feel for the game. And if you ever had a little success and – you just keep trying to, to, to do that for the most part, and then they've got to have an answer to stop them, and you've got to think about something else. And, but our guys really got that zone going. We've got a good push at the point of attack. Uh, Cameron R's Payne bounced a couple on the perimeter, and uh, you know that really got us going. Gus, have you noticed a difference in Cap? Because he's nearly 1,000 yards now in the last two weeks, visually <coughs> to the outside. He appears to have different first right now. Said again. Do you, do you, have you noticed a difference in him these past two games? Uh, you know, he's, he's just more confident. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of summer to Trey last year. You know, he's just getting to a point. And, you know, he's established himself as one of the better running backs in our league, if 
about the country. Coach, did you change your defensive game plan when you found out Tunsil wasn't going to play? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> hey, Gus, it's almost simplistic to say you guys keep finding a way to win. Yeah. What is it? How does it keep happening? <clears throat> well, it's uh, it, it's all about players. I mean, it's uh, it's about players. They truly believe that it, it's close. They're going to find a way to win, and they've done it in uh, the last two years in some of the most bizarre ways. <clears throat> But uh, there's a lot of champions uh, in that locker room, and it's a special group. And uh, myself and our coaches, you know, we're blessed to be a part of it and coaching these guys. Coach, 